Weather Authority forecast. Unsettled weather will be the big story across the basin, this time in the form of colder and more humid air with, yeah, stronger winds that camera shake behind me. This is a live look at the tall city. City lights highlighting the milkiness in the sky. These big clouds may result in some rainfall in parts of the basin. Take a look at the satellite and radar. We're already seeing rain forming in parts of Texas from San Angelo, Abilene, Dallas, Fort Worth, and on into Oklahoma. We do notice the past few hours it's really formed mostly just east of our viewing area, but we do notice more clouds coming in with Snow on the backside with colder and drier air filtering in the western basin with a little bit of moisture producing some snow in New Mexico. So when you combine all these ingredients together, that's how we get a surface low pressure to form. And that's what we're seeing right now in the heart of the basin and as these clouds roll on through. Again, as a result of that surface low pressure starting to form, we could be seeing rainfall. Northeasterly winds sustained at 26 miles per hour in the tall city. Stronger winds at Big Spring and the north and east. We do notice the north easterly and the northwesterly trajectory in those winds with lighter winds in the southern eastern basin. And that's where conditions are a lot more humid. 93% relative humidity right now in Dryden. 54% relative humidity right now in the tall city. Look at that dry line. Drier in places like Marfa and Alpine as opposed to Dryden. And look at that. Places like out of our viewing area close to San Angelo and even closer to Abilene conditions are a little bit more humid. And that's where rainfall may start to set up within the next few hours. Currently sitting at 46 degrees now in the tall city. Temperatures dropping. A lot of clouds. Again, those winds at the north northeast at 26 miles per hour. Gusting close to 30 to 40 miles per hour. Making it feel like the 30s. So make sure you guys bundle up. Temperatures are going to continue to drop within the next few hours in the lower 40s. I think this model slightly overestimating these temperatures by the morning commute. 30s from Marfa, Alpine and the higher elevations into Carlsbad and Hobbs. Make sure you guys bundle up this morning. Temperatures not going to rebound too much in the afternoon. Higher 30s and lower 40s in northwestern areas. Higher 40s and lower 50s in eastern areas. Lower 50s in 60s near the Rio Grande and really going to start to cool off later this evening. Average high in the tall city 62 earlier this morning got to 56. Low temperature by midnight at 37 degrees. During the afternoon, I think we may not even reach back into the low to mid 50s. We'll struggle to reach the lower 50s. Raindrops possible throughout the day becoming very chilly. A lot of clouds lingering throughout the day with blowing dust because of those stronger winds. Limiting visibility at times, so make sure guys are weather aware. I think rainfall may start to form within the next few hours before drying off with lingering clouds in eastern areas. And then we do notice drier in southwestern areas, more clouds and more humid conditions in northeastern areas tonight. Low temperatures in the 30s, very cold and humid. Those winds at the north northeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Just like this morning, tomorrow morning, very cold. Feeling very cold because of the stronger winds with air temperatures even lower than this morning in the 30s. 50s and 40s for many today. 50s and 60s for many tomorrow with drier air later in the afternoon before really cooling down with stronger winds and drier air later this week.